taking you on a day with me outside this is my first time out on my own I'm a little bit nervous it was raining so I don't know if I should just stay at home but I need to go get my social security number and I need to go to the grocery store I'm tired of eating eggs every morning I want to eat granola so I don't know what I'm gonna do and then also yeah, I'm taking you guys with me along on my day. Welcome. I'm a little bit So welcome. And let's go.
Yo, I need to right. I need to right. Number one. I'm a choose a line I wanna show you. Number one. Number two, guys, being lucky layers. And my thing is, what we talk about, man, I have a as net. So I'm getting bullied. I'm so getting angry. In my family group chat. Oh, do I care? So I'm sorry, but now, but I'm also afraid that these nails are gonna die out sooner because I'm just dragging and pulling and it's just a lot. But um. Yeah, guys, like I am not the attitude you should have is the one that Christ Jesus had, amen. Period. Um, yeah, guys, I was slightly lost, my phone, phone almost died, I had a bit of an anxiety attack. Um, it's just been a lot, it's just been a lot, and I was all alone today. It's like my third day in, in, in the country. But you know, I'm an independent girl. And you know what? The city, it accepted me. I feel like I belong here. And not in a like super zealous way, like obsessive way. No, like it feels like this is where I'm supposed to be. You know, like it feels natural. And as much as I was, you know, it was almost bad, but it feels natural. It feels kind of like the, the, the country's new, the things are new. It's slightly complicated, slightly annoying in its complication. Excuse me. I'm so hungry. I lost had breakfast when I left this house. I don't have money on me, so I couldn't stop at a restaurant. If I had, well, I technically have money. I just don't have a card. It has in there. Was that like America Zang? No Zang Zang Tina. No Zang Tina. Because why did I go to a bank, apply for a card, and now I have to wait for it in the mail? Like, you know, America likes to act like it's better than everyone. When the reality is, they are like three steps back from South Africa, especially the money system. Um, I mean, in some... I guess to some degree it's okay. But like, I could have gotten to the bank and gotten out with a card. That's one. Two, I would have been able to use my money even like... If I didn't really have the card. Do you get what I mean? Like, there's a way to get my money. If I didn't have the card. Anyways, this is the, this is the last bit of the vlog, you guys. Actually, should I just continue to... Tomorrow I have nothing going on. I'm probably going to iron. I'm probably going to iron. The vlog was just mostly me walking around the city. I couldn't shop me. I couldn't shop, shoot me shopping. It looks like a market. Like, I don't know if Moses. Yeah. Yes, Moses. Yes, OPC. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's not, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to say it's giving. Because it's not. I mean, I. it's what I expect. But also at the same time, like, I want to go to a mall. Like, I know quieter places like, like texas whatever they have like proper like you know like pick and pay you know but here yeah, it's like everything is sort of like a market because it's such i think they so it's a like i actually know you have my family lena man guys that's i genuinely cannot for the life of me grasp raising a family in this place i can't like i can't do it families are being raised here couples are living here people are getting married and moving here i get the concept but for the life of me i cannot imagine or grasp raising a family in the city not because it's a bad city it's an amazing city and i'm sure like my host family is doing it they fine there are so many families in the area and this is this particular neighborhood is a family orientated neighborhood despite it being in brooklyn but there are other places in New York, like Melville, Albany, where you can really just be like, okay, this is a suburb. So what I'm trying to get at is it's like, it's such a uptown type of vibe. Like it's a Johannesburg type of vibe, you know? Um, 
I, I can see families being raised in Johannesburg. It's just, I mean, families are, we, we grew up in Johannesburg. It's just that Johannesburg seems like the place you go to, not the place you're from. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, people come here for, like, work, for school, for, like, their early 20s, to explore their early 30s, whatever. But in my head, nobody's from Brooklyn because nobody's from Johannesburg. But I'm from Johannesburg, so I don't know what I'm saying. I talk like I don't know what I'm saying, but I feel like those that get me get me. You get if you get me. a model for me, Mrs. Kensington. You know how Mr. Kensington feels about that. Oh, behave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I'm going to the park right now. I'm at the park right now for leisure purposes, not for exercise, not for the kids. And everybody's exercising here. Yeah, I feel so out of place, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's better if you fall. Because then you see all my flows and it's like awkward, like, oh. But, um, yeah. shade off the light so I might as well be full it's gonna look crazy because yeah but you see me and that's what it matters so what happened is y'all I I did not know I was in Manhattan right I thought I was still within this within the 
the parameters of Brooklyn and I thought this because it looked very similar to my neighborhood it looked very similar not necessarily to my neighborhood because my neighborhood is like I'm um, so I don't know what this is my neighborhood is primarily brownstones so I mean there are apartment complexes but it's primarily brownstones which means it's a very old neighborhood but there are a lot of apartment complexes especially if you get out of my particular neighborhood so I saw the apartment complexes and I was like oh it's fine I'm still in Brooklyn and because I was taking like one train two trains three stops four stops five stops and I was taking like 20 minute trains because I, I was taking 20 minute trains I thought I was good I thought I was still within it you know what I mean cool so I go to the social security office right but then I go to the one in Brooklyn right um and they lied to me oh no no you have to go to another one like so it's basically like I went I went to like the local office instead of like the main branch you know like I went to like a pickup spot so it's a social security office to get my card because the guy uh, uh, he gave me the address so I put it on Google Maps and the coolest thing about here is that ma, when you go with the train when you go with the bus whatever I'm like the like Google Maps will tell you where to get like it will tell you go to the train station it will tell you um, get bus number what a uh, train number what 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 it will tell you this train will stop here 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 and there and then it will tell you you are getting off here and it will tell you take uptown downtown and then when you take the bus same situation take b41 b42 b64 like whatever it will say that like it will be very specific then it will be like it stops at one two three four five seven eight nine ten and it will say take b46 two downtown brooklyn or it will say take b43 to manhattan like, like it will say that because sometimes it will be b43 b43 but one is going to downtown brooklyn and another is going to brooklyn avenue another one is going to manhattan another one's going to park um to central park you get what i mean so it will say and that's the one thing i love about it you guys so i go to social security office right and i give my stuff done and then I leave, and then okay, let me just go to Western Beef. It's like a little grocery shop place. See, it's like it's basically like um like a marketplace, like like almost almost the same. Um, it's not like a pick and pay. it's like a pick and pay, but it's like uh, like pick and pay is more upscaled. Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's not that the shop doesn't have stuff. It's just like the look, you know. So I go, and now my phone is at like four percent. Nah. At this point, when this happens, my phone is at four percent. So I'm like, okay, I'm at Rest and Beef. Yesterday, when I checked Rest and Beef, I checked from my house. I checked from where I'm at, and I was like, Rest and Beef, nearest Rest and Beef, right? And it showed me the one that's a six minute walk away. So yeah, I'm like, okay, the phone person that's left, okay, let me just look at the robots. Where do I turn? Where do I turn? I then start asking people where this is, where this is. So I was like, I'm chilled. I look at it, and it says 43 minutes away from home. <laughs> at this point my mind it starts racing it starts going to places and i'm losing it just a little bit now i start panicking i'm like okay okay i'm like okay, I'm like, okay calm down and then i look at maps i see okay western beef i see western beef i go there my phone now at two percent i'm like okay i'm like okay don't panic i go in and i'm like okay i need a charger i'm like bigger than because in my here around my neighborhood there are like these things like these charging card things my host mom says uh, a lot of homeless people use them but you can use them but it's like for homeless people you know what i mean i get in and i'm like can i please charge i'm i'm new in the country i don't know how i'm gonna go back home i'm just like i'm very scared the lady's like do you have a charge i'm like i don't have a charger i just need someone to charge for me i'll give you my phone i don't mind She's like, oh, I don't have a charger, and I use uh, the uh, the lady next to her uses Android. The guy behind her also uses. I think he was checking. He was like, what kind of phone it is in Spanish though? And she was like, no, it's an iPhone. And I'm like, no, I don't have it. And now, now reality is kicking in. Now I'm losing my mind just a little bit. And I walk out the door, my eyes start filling up with tears. This other black lady is like, what's wrong? And then they tell her she's looking for a charger and then the other lady comes out of her pool and she's like go to the other side there was like a mechanic situation on the other side of the street and i go there and these two guys they were in the uniform for the she's like she's like ask them maybe they'll find someone and i asked them and now my eyes are visibly on the verge of tears now i'm like now i'm gonna cry now i'm gonna cry and 
they they're trying to be they kind of panic here also because they see me cry and you know when somebody's crying and you're trying to help them and you feel like you can't help them it's just kind of that situation where you're like oh my gosh i, I really need to help this person and then um and then they say you know what actually there's a young lady who works with us but she's on the other side of the road because they wanted to send me at the back but it was too far and they're like she's on the other side of the road just walk until you see the orange cones and just look for her and i just got in that that place is like it's like you know those industrial you know yeah and i was walking in and she's like whoa why are you getting in where are you going da, da, da. i was like i need a georgia and my dear was like i'm here like i'm trying to do it she's like okay but you need to stay outside give me your charger and then you'll come back give me your phone you'll come back for it i'll charge it for you i don't mind but you can't get in you see that lady I need that lady. I need God to give that lady something nice, and I know He will, you know, cause, cause, cause that God can please give her something nice. Okay, I've asked Him, so <laughs> He will. But she charges, and you guys, she's so sweet because she doesn't just put it in the charger. She puts it on airplane mode. She decreases the screen, the screen, um, the brightness she does everything to make sure that my phone charges as fast as possible so i then went back to western beef i bought what i need to buy but at this point i'm far away from home so i didn't take as many things as i wanted to take and um i went back and it was like a 43 percent i wanted to hug that lady and i was like thanks she's like no don't worry about it guys and then i came back home i took the chain i came back home and my host mom was like, oh, where were you? I was like, oh, I just got lost. But I found, I like, because I told her, like, I got lost. But then I was able to find myself back home. Da, 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 some lady helped me charge. I was like, where exactly were you? I was like, oh, no, I ended up at Western Beef. But it was like 43 minutes away. So I was very confused. And then she says to me, were you in Manhattan? And I was like, no, no, I don't think I was in Manhattan. I was definitely still within Brooklyn. And then she says, and then I'm like, I'm not, so I check my maps. I'm like, let me just check where exactly I was. Does it not say Chelsea, Manhattan? I'm like, oh, I think I was in Chelsea, Manhattan. She's like, no, that's impossible. You couldn't have been in Chelsea, Manhattan. I was like, no, 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 I was here. And I show her, and she's like, you probably went to the most expensive Western beef in New York. And I'm like, really? she's like, no, it's fine. She was just telling me she wasn't like, she's like, it's fine, but yeah, like. I see there, she says there are so many more fancy places there that people don't actually go to that resting beef because there are so many more fancy places like because it's Manhattan you know what I mean and in my mind I was just like girl and I, I got lost in Manhattan that made me so happy the next day we went to like not the next day like the next week I went to like Times Square and I also got lost in Times Square I like getting lost in New York City I like getting lost in Manhattan as long as my phone is charged so now I, I carry on my mind like I they have a cable that fits into my power bank so I'm happy so now I take that with me and I need to get a brand new power bank that's stronger than this one because this one's pretty weak but um yeah so I got lost that was the first day the first day the one in the city the second day I went to Times Square on Tuesday it was before it was amazing and i 100 percent recommend if you come to new york which if you want to pray about it stay in the lord and if it is part of god's plan also upa and yeah you guys i'm so happy i'm so happy that i'm here but also most importantly i'm happy that i found myself back home because i really was stuck to a panic attack so when when the lady when the black lady was like we don't have a charge of studio. oh my heart guys it literally sunk to my stomach because in my head i'm thinking oh no one's asked no one else is gonna have me <laughs> i'm thinking I'm, bit, I'm legit thinking no one is going to help me my heart down okay. here just like and i started having i was my body was shaking my eyes started filling up and i'm trying to remain sane right but my body is not listening to what i'm trying to do it's listening to how i feel yeah, and this morning I got in, I got on the bus with the stroller and there's this other lady. They carry these things where they put stuff, which makes sense. You know, nobody they have cars, but nobody really uses their cars. And they had like these strolling things where they put in, things inside. You know those things that grade two teachers have in primary school. Yeah, she had that. And um, I was trying to get in the stroller. She could see that I'm panicking because we're late and the bus. My value, my value, find the train, my value, value. Where you're gonna have to get to the next stop. So I'm panicking and I'm getting off the wrong door, the door that does not go down. So I'm trying to push instead of her moving her thing she's looking at me 
and I'm like, oh, this bitch. And I'm like pushing her thing because I'm trying to get out, guys. Like, I'm with a child. It's 8 10. Like, we're gonna be late for school. School starts at 8 30. Use your brain. Like, I don't like it when old women act like they're six years old. This other day, in the Western Beef, the same day, this lady's like, so the cashier is, the cashier till is empty. So she starts losing her mind. Oh, they F word. Where F word are they? They F word can't even take care of their children. And they F word can't even do their work right. F word, F word, F word. F bomb, F word, F word, F word everywhere. F word everywhere. S word, S word, S word. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, are we okay? And she's like disabled also. She's going with a crutch and she's got scars on her face. So in my mind, I'm thinking, you know what it is? You know what it is? I don't know if you guys watch the Big Bang Theory. Something's irritating me here. I think it's this. I don't know if you guys watch the Big Bang Theory, right? But I remember when Rajesh was dating this blind girl from Penny's Yoga Plus. So the blind girl was using Rajesh for his money. And the boys are saying to Penny, oh, she's a gold digger. And she says, no that's impossible she's blind so they look at her like what do you mean that's impossible she's blind she's like blind people don't do bad things because they blind that's the same analogy i use on disabled people in my mind you can't hurt anybody you're disabled it's like if you're a black older woman or if you're a black woman at all or if you're yeah if you're a black woman because black men that's a but if you're a black woman in my mind i'm thinking oh we've been through enough the least you can do is be kind to another black woman. That's what I'm always thinking in my mind. Because see, I'm not... This thing, this thing, this nothing. Sometimes it doesn't work fine. It doesn't connect. The lines here to here, they don't connect sometimes. Maybe it's because the breasts are too big. So they're not connecting properly. Because sometimes, in my heart, I'm thinking, oh, this is a good person. But then my mind, my mind knows. But they don't connect. It's like there's a wire that's a bit... And then my mind, I'm thinking, oh, she's probably just a sweet old lady. She's a sweet old lady. No, she's not. She's not. F bomb, F bomb, F bomb, F bomb, F bomb, everywhere. Check your grandma's. Check your, check up on them. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, you guys, have a beautiful one. Have a beautiful one. May God bless you always, always, always. And I love you always, always, always. Hopefully, my skin will be better. I need to wash my hair. Actually, tomorrow's, tomorrow is what? Friday? I don't have to take the kids to school tomorrow morning, so I have to prepare their lunch tonight. I have to prepare their everything tonight. Tomorrow they're going to the dentist, so they're going with their mama, with their mama. So what I'll do is tomorrow I'll have a nice long bath. I'll wash my hair. I'll bath in the bathtub. I haven't entered a bathtub since I left South Africa. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I mean, the shower works perfectly fine. I'm clean, but I need to soothe. I wanted to enter the bathtub once I bought a bubble situation, a bubble bath. But um, I'll figure that out tomorrow. I've never gone to the store. That's because I haven't received my card. I don't know where the mall is. You guys, living in a city in America, it's like living... I can't describe this. You know how in South Africa, when you live in a big city, you live next to big malls? But when you live in a little, in a little town, a small town, you live next to markets and... and um, like you know farmers markets uh those tiny grocery stores that's what it's like to live in a big city in america so if you live in a big city the likelihood of living next to a big mall very slim very slim because big city here translates to social life suburbs translates to family and therefore malls you know all of that but here they have places they have places but like i also just think here yeah, they're so big on online shopping that malls are more of a family thing do you know what i mean am i making sense to you i feel like i am but i need a mall i need to find a mall i looked for a mall it's like 43 minutes away Ugh. but yeah anyways bye love you can't wait to i mean see you on my next one i think my next vlog <gasps> we have a cluster meeting this weekend. I have a cluster meeting in Central Park. And then I'll probably take you on my weekend, like my whole weekend, because I'm gonna go to Times Square with my friend. Then I'm gonna go to church and then lunch with this new girl that I met, Millie. She's from Brazil, the cutest. 
um so we're probably gonna go to church and then lunch on sunday to saturday i'm going to the cluster meeting and then Times square with Nombelo. and then yeah next week is probably gonna be a super quiet week i'm trying to bring up my life yeah but yeah anyway